in a new email and notification that Uber had sent out over its app, it is super serious about making sure that riders are accountable for wearing a mask during each and every ride. <laughs> wow. And that's what we're talking about right now. Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for different things within the rideshare industry, whether it's updates to what's going on, news, tips and tricks for passengers and drivers, or what actually happens on Real Rideshare Rides, start now by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Also make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. So I got a really funny notification and email earlier today when it came to Uber and the notification was talking about how super serious they were regarding the mask policy coming from riders and how they were going to hold riders accountable. Now, I thought that was really funny because when I was reading it the whole time, I was thinking of that South Park episode where the one character was saying, I'm super serial. And so I just thought that was really funny. Although it is a good reminder for those, so we're going to go over the email in just a moment. Plus, it's going to have any of the updated changes that they have made, plus possible deactivations for riders for repeated offenses of wearing no masks. Quite possible, but the only thing is, until they really actually crack down on signups and enrollments for ridership, then that person could potentially just create a new fake account and it's back at square one. So until Uber and Lyft actually do that, a deactivation to a rider really isn't that big of a deal. So now this is the email that we're gonna be going over real quick. And it's just, again, some reminders about the whole mask policy changes and what's going on. Now this email did go out on Tuesday, at least for me. If you haven't received it yet, then you will be very soon. And I also recorded this on Tuesday, but it's going to go live on Wednesday. So yes, there is just that little day delay. But either way, it's a great reminder for those who may not know or may not be clear on things, as well as just anybody overall. So its subject is called holding riders accountable for your safety. And then it goes on, it says committed to safety, helping to protect you while using Uber. Our door-to-door -door safety standard includes policies that hold riders accountable for your health and safety. We're committed to helping you feel safe when you choose to drive with Uber again. That's why our door-to-door -door safety standard includes no mask reporting. We're taking steps to hold riders accountable, but need your help to better identify riders who are not following our policies. There are two ways to report riders. At pickup, so if a rider is not wearing a face cover or mask, you can cancel the trip and select no face cover or mask as the cancellation reason. This won't impact your Uber Pro status. And then after the trip, you can rate your ride less than four stars and choose no face cover or mask as the reason. So yes, it is policy not to take a rider who is not wearing a mask, but each driver is going to make a different decision. So if you do transport somebody who is not wearing a mask or if they take their mask off during the ride, then that is where you would rate them lower and select no mask as the reason. Then it goes on to rider deactivations. We are actively removing access to the app for riders who are reportedly repeating not wearing a face cover or mask. Now, the only problem with that is it's very simple for a rider just to create another account because there is no real accountability when it comes to that. So it sounds great in an email, but in actuality, it might just be a deterrent for some and that might not really have any meaning. But then it goes on to cancellation fees. If you cancel a trip because a rider is not wearing a face cover or mask, you will receive a cancellation fee for reporting the trip to Uber. So you will get your cancellation fee, just so you know. Rider mask verification. We're expanding our mask verification technology to riders, and here's how it works. So if a driver reports to Uber that the rider wasn't wearing a mask or face cover, then the rider will be required to take a selfie with a face cover or mask on before they're able to take another trip with Uber. 
But if you're in New York City, it will be before every single ride. Now, for everywhere else that has this mask policy, that is, again, if you are a rider who has been reported as not wearing a mask before that, then you will have to take a selfie. Other than that, you can just order your Uber and have no problems there whatsoever. So with this new feature, one driver's feedback can help ensure the safety of Uber for the next driver. The mass verification feature will roll out to riders by the end of September. So that is a couple of the policy changes that they have made and updates to it regarding riders and the face mask policy. And it will probably be updated more and more as time goes on. But those are a couple of good reminders if you didn't remember. Uh, and also some of the changes that they are making, like the photo verification that will be happening in all markets by the end of September. Now let's go over a couple of reminders when it comes to some of the policy changes that Uber has made during this time frame. And first and foremost, when it comes to ordering or taking a Uber X or a Uber Comfort ride, it is now limited to three people, so three riders at one time during an Uber X or Comfort ride. This is so all riders are able to fit in the back and the driver sits up front. And then also that brings up no front seat riding. All riders, whether it's one, two, three, or more passengers, if they ordered an Uber XL, all sit in the back and do not sit up front. Another policy change that happened is that the windows are supposed to be cracked during a trip so you get that fresh air. I know it's in the middle of summer for some people or at least ending a little bit and it's been hot out there, but the fresh air is supposed to be helping and part of some of the changes that Uber has made. Then after any ride, the driver is supposed to be wiping down the most touched areas as well as spraying any disinfectant spray throughout the car so it will be clean and okay for the next ride. And lastly, all pooled rides are suspended for the foreseeable future. I know a lot of drivers are happy about that, but they will be making a comeback as both Uber and Lyft are trying to create shared rides into their eco-friendly policies that will be up and coming. I'm pretty sure that's the changes that they made. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. So if I did miss one of the policy changes, if somebody could write them down into the comments section below, that would be wonderful. So I appreciate that. And if you have any other questions regarding some of these policy changes during this time frame, comment below and let me know. Now that's the end of today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Also, make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips, as well as ways you can earn and save money, like using the Get Upside Gas app, like Robinhood, like Webull, Acorns, different ways you can invest and save for the future, and also some other links that I recommend for products for your vehicle to help make it stand out as well as for your safety when it comes to dash cameras. Also, if you'd like to become a channel member and help support the channel, then you can click the join button, which is right next to the subscribe button or in the description below. Now it's not required, but greatly appreciated. As always, never drink and drive, always sip your drivers, your delivery drivers, and your shoppers, and we'll see you next time.